So how many times are you hit with an out of memory error? An out of memory error that could cause hell to a 12 hour flight or even a short hop down to Jersey. Well don't you worry guys, because I believe I could fix it. Let's do this. Hello guys and a very warm welcome to a video today where it's got to a point now where I thought sod it I've got to do this video for you guys and um, this is practically going to tell you how I fixed my out of memory error and this potentially 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 that's it could fix yours anyway so the first thing you have got to do start up your flight sim you don't have to do it in free flight or anything like that but I always like to glide up at Friday Harbour where I currently am now and uh, then we we'll go through the settings in flight sim then just sitting it on the desktop so the first thing you have to do is press on the options tab if you haven't got the menu bar up here just press the so say you haven't got the menu bar up just like that you just right click and press the menu bar and you press options, settings at the bottom, go down and you go down to first of all we'll start off at general. First of all you gotta do is make sure the pause on task switch is like not ticked and um make sure that everything here you want to be set is okay. Uh, I don't use ever tra air traffic control so that isn't on or anything like that. Just press OK when you're done with that. Now back to options and settings and now do you press display. This is where we get into proper sort of big time. First I want to point out is I have downgraded my graphics card to a GTX 760 because uh, I have up going to upgrade my processor which is a long story cut short that is it. Anyway I've locked my frame rates at 30 and my resolution set on to auto I use lens flare and advanced animations right this is where it gets real global texture resolution I always used to have all my settings on this very high and I realized one day going into flight sim it doesn't actually make any difference really I realized so I like to leave that on high roughly if you haven't got a low, if you've got a lower end PC put it back down to medium or low but we're gonna leave it on high aircraft cast a shadow on itself that is a frame killer do not press that in aircraft landing lights eliminate on the ground I always use that aircraft cast shadows on the ground you can use that or not, but I'd like to save that because recently I have been flying into the bigger airports. But when I fly into a lower airport, like with less scenery, I tend to tick them on. Now to scenery. Now, these all could be up like this, but that could really <laughs> increase the chance of getting out of memory error and everything like that. So I like to have mine everything down to just randomly clicked. And, uh, yeah. The dense, oh, I other than one dense, the special effects on medium. But it depends, like I said, if I'm flying into a, like, say I'm only flying from out of, like, Gatwick down to, like, Jersey, I'll have them all on very high, because I don't really mind getting an out of memory error on that sort of flight, because it's only a small one. But, like, I'm just about to set up a flight to, um, to go to, sort of, like, somewhere across the pond or down into, like, Japan, you would have, oh, excuse me on that one, guys, um, you'd have them all set to a certain point where you would have them lower because it decreases the chance of fatal error or anything like that. Weather, detail clouds, or leave that as it is, because it's just, Active Sky Next takes that out, takes over, and traffic. I have all my traffic turned off. This also that also really kind of helps with that sim as well. So you press OK, and we'll load the terrain data. Just want to point out, guys, that an out of memory error could still occur, and um, there's nothing else that I'm going to do now, or oh, once this is finished loading. So it's finished loading, obviously it doesn't really look any different to what it was about five minutes ago before we started. Uh, that's why I like to do it in a free flight mode at Friday Harbour. So up at the air, you can just see the difference if there is any. And to be honest, oh, I can't see any different. So close down the flight sim. Flight simulator is closed down. Now all you need to do is you now need to find your advanced system settings. So I'm on Windows 8, so I have to search it up here. advanced system settings right once you found this you find the uh, you leave it as that is and I'll go through that in just a second if you're Windows 7 you'll obviously just search it in the bottom left hand corner right first thing you're going to do you're on the advanced 
you're going to see performance here and you're going to press settings on performance and then you're on the performance options right now you must go to the advanced tab which is next to visual effects and then as you can see you've got total page and file size for all drivers is 200, 2,532 and uh, you can simply press the change button there now automatically uh, manage page file interval drivers. You that is normally ticked in, but we're going to untick that, and we're going to press custom size, and uh, space available is <laughs> we've got loads of space available. So we're going to say put 5,000 in initial size and 10,000 in a uh, maximum size, and then you simply press set, and then you press OK, and then it goes to make it to make these changes happen. You simply you just now have to restart your PC, press apply. OK, and then just to make sure it has gone through, you go through again. But as you see, it's, sta it's saved, all OK, and um, press OK again. Now we have to restart our computer, guys. So that is very simply how I stopped getting my out of, out of memory error, and hopefully it will stop you guys from getting an out of memory error on Flight Simulator X. Um, be sure to give us a subscribe, guys, and a like, and be sure to check us out on Twitch below. Plenty more content coming your way. The next video after this is going to be a welcome on board uh, flight from London Heathrow to JFK. So keep tuned for that, guys, and until the next video, which will probably be out as well today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.